Sepulchre finished. Now entering the mausoleum. Take it away, Auditor. This barrel is nothing more than bone now, but in death, he has the last laugh. Your desperate search for a way back to your world has led you to this mausoleum. White hallways, silent for the moment, stretch outward in every direction. You grit your teeth and load your bow. These halls will ring with the death cries of your foes soon enough. Actually, a bit faster than I expected. Yeah, if you stay in that little, um, cubby hole that you start in, it won't end well. You'll probably get cornered and ripped apart. Oh, crud, my armor's busted. It's easy to get lost in this secret level. First time I ever uh, got to this level, I got lost in it. And this is why. Most of the level consists of these massive hallways that sprawl out in every direction, just like... Just like that text described, and good lord. It's got that flickering lining too, which is pretty hard on my eyes. And it's no doubt quite hard on my uh, recording as well. Nope, we're bringing out the big old trusty hall fight tool. Some of these hallways are short, some of them are long, but either way, they all encircle these large rooms. And there's also tons of iron liches around. Oh god! Yeah, you don't want to go into these rooms until you've cleaned out um, a decent sized portion of the level. Otherwise, these iron liches are going to cause even more problems for you. Ow! We're going to trap them. How are you not dead? Okay, now he's dead. Oh. Might as well clean out some more holes. Oh. Yeah, for some bizarre reason, the first few levels have a, a ow, higher than normal lich count. Or, not lich count, molotar count. They have a good number of molotars in them. Now it goes from iron liches, or it goes from molotars to iron liches. Crap, I am, I cannot English it today.
I've actually run myself dangerously low on Phoenix Run ammo. <laughs> Where's my armor? I haven't seen any armor since the start of this level. Oh, there's. Let's see. Ah, okay. So, all these different rooms have skull doors on them. This one, that skull door looks different. And because of that, it's one that can be opened manually. So yeah, the skull doors that have red eyes have to be opened elsewhere. Also, Donut Crusher. Now let's see, what did that do? Oh, wait a second, there's also, uh, this place. I need to go now. It's this way. Yep. These different teleporters, some of the rooms that you will unlock contain teleporters and take you to other rooms. Where you can open them from the inside. Crap, this room. This room is quite a nightmare. Oh, I hit that center pillar by accident. Yeah, um, I think this expansion pack the one thing, it, it didn't introduce any new monsters and it didn't introduce any new weapons or items or things like that. But it did introduce walls that you can shoot. Okay. So now the disciples swarm comes out. Aw, oh, damn. Oh no. Okay. 
Yeah, this level is where this episode goes from. It's like this. It's like this episode was really hard at the start. Then it got. Um, then the difficulty lowered to about medium or so with the ambulatory and sepulchre. Now it starts getting really difficult again. Disciples prowling around here. Ouch. I'm here on Dead Nights, so I'm not sure if this teleporter is going to take me to them. Oh, it takes me to this room. Good thing I cleaned it out prior. I get this. I'm not sure what makes this door open, but I can't open it from either side. And I know that this takes me to this room. It's it's a weird one. Oof! Ouch! notice I'm standing in lava and I'm not taking damage. This sort of flickering path on the side does not damage you, even though it still has that weird burning effect. I guess it's like cooling down or something. But if you stand if you stand on this, it'll damage you. If you stand on this, it won't. Logic? <laughs> Logic, what happened? Where'd you go? I miss you. I mean, even if it's like partly hardened up or something, it'd still cause it would still be really effing hot, and would probably still cause damage. going through these rooms one at a time. It's funny how there are all these locked doors in this level, but the door the level only has one key, that being the yellow key. That's another thing I really like and I find really original. Ow. There's another disciple trap in this room.
<laughs> Made it first try. Oh, okay. That's kind of roundabout. And now, into this last room. One second. Let's turn on Shadow Sphere. There's a lot of uh, undead knights around here. There's also a fairly large number of mummies. Or golems, whatever. As you go through these uh, tunnels, the walls lower. Another thing I really like and find interesting about this. Alright, now we have the yellow key. We can open up the exit zone. go up here, then it also opens up the last room, because there's one room that we didn't visit. This one. And there's another lich. There we go. Mausoleum finished. Now I think, if memory serves, I am now gonna go to... Oh, nope. The Great Stairs.